Hi everybody, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming to hang out with me for a little bit today. Today I'm going to be answering a lot of the comments I got on my last vlog to do my wavy hair routine on camera. I've been experimenting little by little and I think it gets better every time of just learning how to embrace the natural texture that my hair has rather than just flat ironing it all the time. And out of all the things that I've tried over the years, I think this one works the best. And like I said, it gets a little bit better every time. I will say though, I can't take credit for this totally. I think like a month or two ago, this girl on TikTok, her name is Greta Wilson, she went viral for sharing some of these products and how they work for her and how they could work on other people's natural hair. And so I took three of the products from her video and then some of the things I do are a little bit different, but a lot of it is from her. So I will give credit to where credit is due. But the first thing I will talk about is in the shower. I really don't have a lot to say about it. The one thing I will say is I don't brush my hair before, in or after the shower. Anyone with textured hair understands the more you brush it when it's natural, the more it's going to expand. So I do not brush my hair. In the shower, I will kind of comb a little bit of my fingers through my hair, more on the top of my head, um, just so that it kind of falls nicely into place, but I will not brush it with a comb or a brush. As far as shampoo and conditioner goes, some people will disagree with me. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Some people will disagree but I, I've i switched it up. I've used Tresemme, I've even used Head and & Shoulders, and it always looks the same every time. Out of the shower, you're gonna need a microfiber hair towel. This is the one I use. You just drape it over your head with your hair forward, wrap it up, and then you just tie it in this little hoop here. And this kind of just um, soaks up all the water in your hair, and it's much more gentle for your hair than this guy. So you're probably wondering why I have this on my head. So I keep this over my hair, for a while while I'm doing my makeup, while I'm changing, whatever. And then for like five minutes before I do my hair, I will put this towel back on. I know it is not super gentle for your hair, but it does absorb the water a little bit better than this will. And for me, this won't work. This routine won't work if my hair is still like dripping, dripping wet. So just for like four or five minutes, I will put this on my head before I do everything else. Okay, so let's let the hair down and it kind of is sitting nicely already. I told you I kind of put my fingers through it while I'm in the shower. Um, and it's still very, very damp, but it's not dripping. So what I'll do really quick is I will just, again, put my fingers through it lightly. I don't want to pull it apart because that's when it starts to get a little frizzier, but I just want to make sure that it's not like knotted together or that certain pieces aren't falling in a different way than the other pieces, if that makes sense. And that kind of just leaves me with this. So now before it gets any more dry, cause you definitely want it to be damp, I will show you the products that I'm gonna use. And the next three products are the ones that I got from Greta Wilson. So the first one is Not Your Mother's Curl Talk. This is a defining cream. And you're gonna put, or at least I put, about that much on one side. So I'm gonna do this side first. And I'm just going to Make sure that all the strands are covered first before I start scrunching. This is good for frizz and it also just helps your hair hold its texture. So now we're going and doing our sixth grade inspired scrunching routine. If anyone remembers in middle school, this was the thing to do, at least in my middle school. So you're just gonna scrunch it, hold it for a couple seconds. I typically like to do this when my hair is a little more wet than it is right now, but I took a little bit longer getting ready today, so it's already starting to frizz. My hair will absolutely frizz and puff up if I don't put anything in it, so I'm just kind of trying to do this a little bit quickly. Okay, now that that's done, same brand, Curl Talk, but this is the mousse. And this is where I was going wrong in the beginning. I was putting too much because as you'll see, this expands rather quickly. So you need a lot less than you think you do. Like even this, I feel like it's too much. And this is what, it, it holds the curls and it makes them look a lot better. But if you put too much, your hair will have that wet look. You know what I'm talking about? Or even when your hair is dry, it looks like it's soaking wet and it's crunchy and we don't like that. So actually that wasn't a horrible amount. 
I used to put more. And I was always like, why is it so crunchy? It looks awful. So you need a lot less of this than you think you do. And I'm gonna show you an oil that I put in later to kind of get some of that crunch out. I like to put it up in my roots too, just to give the top a little more volume. Okay, this next thing is the thing that I think makes the biggest difference and it's the Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard. I got mine from Target, as you can see. One, this stuff smells heavenly. Two, this is the stuff that really is gonna like hold your hair. So I take about just a little scoop on the back of my finger, spread it out on my fingers. It's really slimy, but this is what's going to really help your hair actually hold. Cause I don't know about you guys, but just a little bit of mousse doesn't do it for me. So I think this is the thing that really makes a huge difference when it comes to the frizz and the hold. A little bit does go a long way with this stuff though. So just keep that in mind, but always scrunching. I kind of spread it through first and then scrunch and kind of repeat. But you have to kind of help your hair find that texture, if that makes sense. So it looks a little crazy right now. Any residue I have on my fingers, I will lightly put on the top just because I personally do get a little frizz up there, but I don't want to make it oily, so I just put a little bit. Okay, and now it's time for the fun part. So it's time to dry a little bit. Normally I would let it air dry just a little bit before I did this, but because it's already kind of on the drier side today, I'm good to just do it now. Some people will disagree with me here again. I don't think it really matters what blow dryer you use but you will need one that comes with attachments that you can take on and off. This one is the Ginry, J-I-N-R-I Paris Professional Blow Dryer. That's irrelevant. I'm gonna take this one off and what you're going to need is a diffuser. It's huge, it looks a little scary, but if you have textured hair, it's gonna come in handy. So before I turn it on, I'll just explain it to you. I do have it on high heat and I'm gonna put it on high. Some people put it on low, it's up to you and you're just gonna kinda place it. Well, first I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna lightly go over and start to uh, dry the roots, but then I'm going to kinda take the curls and diffuse them that way with the heat coming out. It's just healthier for your hair um, and it helps also define those curls. So let's do it. So here she is, she's looking a little wild, she's looking a little crazy, she's looking a little big. But we're gonna go in with a little curling wand and I cheat a little bit. I like to add some curls on the top layers just to make it look a little more neat and tidy and not so big. But I could leave it like this too and own it and be cool with it. So it's really your preference. This is like a half inch wand, it does have a clamp. I don't use it for this purpose, I just use it like a wand. You can set your temperature to whatever you think is best for your hair. I personally set mine to 383. While that heats up though, I'm gonna show you the oil that I use to just to get some of the crunchiness out of my hair so it feels not as stiff. And this is the Garnier Fructis Moroccan Sleek Oil. I've had this for years. You just use a little bit and a little bit goes a long way. That's why I have so much of it left. <laughs> but I'm gonna put a little pea size amount like literally like that one hand on each side and it's really more for the ends and it just helps it to not feel so crunchy it softens it a little bit so really whatever oil you use i think is fine i'm not going to tell you to go out and buy this specific one but this one does work for me and just like that instantly it's not crunchy anymore all right so let's move on last step Okay, so this is what I do without breaking the pieces apart too much. I take a little, little pieces, like skinny pieces. This is the key to make it look a little more natural. And I'm just gonna curl. I curl away from my face and then I let it fall naturally. So I don't pull anything. And it just gives it more of a defined curl. I think you'll be able to see it more when I do a few other pieces. 
So let's do another one. And I usually wrap it three times, but that of course will depend on your hair length. Three times, I don't really count, so I don't know how long to tell you to hold it for. Just use your best judgment. Not too long though, you don't wanna fry your hair. And then just let it fall. You see that? So it's already starting to look a little more put together. So I'm gonna keep going and maybe I'll show you the other side when I get there. Okay, so I actually just did my whole head because I'm running a little low on time, but this is usually what it looks like and I'm gonna hit it with one or two sprays of hairspray in a second. Um, it's not gonna be perfect. You don't want it to be. You're not gonna get every piece on the curler because you don't want that either. Or else, you know, we're not curling our hair. We're just helping the curls along. We're cheating a little bit. Um, I personally just like this look better on me rather than just having it go all crazy. Especially because when I go outside, it usually tends to expand a little bit more, which is normal. But this is what it ends up looking. And honestly, it holds really well all day. And even tomorrow, it'll still have curls in it. So I don't really brush out the curls. I kind of, like I said, I'm going to hit it with hairspray, which I'm going to do in a second. And I just leave it. I leave the little ringlets and I think they look cute. All right, guys. So yeah, I put a little bit of hairspray in it and that is all she wrote. So I thought this lighting may be able to show you a little bit better what it looks like. But uh, this is the current routine. If you do end up trying it, let me know how it works for you. Let me know if you make any alterations because it's totally okay to do that. Everybody's hair is different. My hair personally probably dries completely different naturally than it does from the girl on TikTok because we just have different hair types. So let me know how it works for you. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for a little bit today and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.